Occasionally, you might find that you have disconnected user populations that you're looking to consolidate into a single Okta organization. These may be contractors, partners, suppliers, or even just users in a different geographical location or office. Oftentimes, the easiest way to consolidate these users is through an upload of users into Okta from a CSV file or flat file. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Okta workflows to import users into Okta from Google Sheets. To start off with, you'll need a Google Sheet that contains the identity information about the users you'd like to create in Okta. Make sure that you have the four base Okta attributes of username, first name, last name, and email at a minimum. Next, we're going to go into Okta workflows. At this point, I'll pause and describe how our flow is going to work at a high level. First, we're going to run our flow on a scheduled basis. I've set this flow up to run every Monday at 6 a.m. in my time zone. So I'll just show you how this works. I add an event. And choose a schedule. And choose weekly on Mondays at 6 a.m. My flow will run every week on Monday at 6 a.m. Next, I'm going to read in all the rows from my Google Sheet, where each row contains the relevant data for the identities that I want to create in Okta. Then, with the list of rows from Google Sheets, I'm going to iterate over each row and create a new user in Okta for, the, for that uh, identity. I'm going to do this using workflows for each card. So for each item in the rows that I've passed into the for each card, I'll call the import users child flow, which creates the user in Okta. So let's take a look at how that flow works. This flow takes the row data as an input and then passing it into an object get multiple card, parses the JSON input to the flow into the relevant user attributes of username, first name, last name, and email. Then I map these inputs to the appropriate attributes for the Okta user in the Okta user create card. Username to username, first name to first name, and so on. I've also specified that I want I do not want to activate the user right now because I want my admin to do that later on. Now that this is all set up, the next step is to test the flow and see how it works. So I'll go back to the parent flow. I'm going to test. And we can see here that my flow executed successfully. But to test it, to check it out, let's go back to Okta and see the results. So if I go into my admin dashboard, I should be able to see identities for some of the users in my sheet, like Jeff Thomas or Linda Perry in Universal Directory. As you can see, Jeff Thomas is right there. As is Linda Perry. So there you have it. We've shown how we can use Okta workflows to run a scheduled creation of users in Okta based off of data in a CSV file or Google Sheet. If you want to build on top of this flow, you can extend it beyond just the base for Okta attributes or potentially add those users to groups, either using group rules or direct cards and workflows. Hope you like this video.